Hi everyone, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. Hope you're having a good day. I really, really do. We are going to do our second layout for Through the Seasons Spring. So, well, I shouldn't say layout, our second video, because I'm going to show you four layouts this time, because uh, last video I showed you the new spring kit. So, what Through the Seasons is, it is with my crafty friend Jeanette over at Crafting in the Girl Cave, Facebook group, and a bunch of my other friends who are all listed in the description of this video where we're making a kit for each season. Now, we just got done with winter, and now we've made our spring kit, and now I've made four layouts, and I'm pretty excited to show you these layouts. Now, for me personally, I am kind of making like three to four kits to use throughout the season because, you know, like... Um, we just got done with winter, but we were already into March, so it was kind of a springy vibe. So that's kind of what I'm doing, doing. And then each month, my goal is to make four layouts with that kit, right? Um, and so what I'm doing to do that, so I don't spend hours trying to figure out what I'm going to do, I'm using sketches. So I'm using this sketch right here for these four layouts, and I did them in four different ways. Some people don't like to do that. I call it batch scrapping, scrapbooking. I got the idea from my friend um, Jeanette Ma Janet Madison at RTS Scrapbooking, and it just is working for me. I am getting so much done. I like to batch scrapbook because I scrapbook the same photo sometimes four times for each of my children. So I could do the layout four times and it would go in four different books. So that works for me. Then I also, I'm not a chronological scrapper. I jump from here to there to everywhere because, you know, I'm squirrel brain. <laughs> and so I, um, it doesn't matter if I use the same collection, it won't all be in the same album. Now, some people like to scrapbook like that, and that's okay. It doesn't matter that I use the same sketch. They're not all going to be in the same album most of the time for me. Now, two of these pages are, but I'm going to show you how I dealt with that. And um, so this works for me. Do what works for you. This is just my fun way of doing things. If you do a layout for your granddaughter, a layout for your daughter, and one for yourself of your grandbaby because you're doing everybody's album, this is a perfect way to do that because they'll all be in different albums. So just, I hope it's inspiring you. Um, no matter how you scrapbook, it's the right way for you. And maybe this will spark an idea for you. Okay, so of course I'm using Page Maps. This is from December of 2018. Page Maps gives out free sketches every single month and they are amazing. So definitely um, put the link in the description here and you can um, go get those free sketches. You can get free sketches on 30 Days of Sketches Facebook group. You can get them Scrapbook Generations gives out free sketches sometimes. So does um, scrapbook.com. Um, they sometimes will give them, not as like they used to, but every once in a while. Pinterest, there are lots of different, I've been getting a lot of questions on where to find free, free sketches and I have a surprise series coming up later this year, and I'm going to share some of my sketches. So um, there are lots of resources, and I would love it, not necessarily for me, but for your fellow crafters, put in the comments of this video, because I'm not the only one that reads them. Yes, I reply to everyone, but other people read them. And if you know of a good place for free sketches, um, Scrap a Sketch Facebook group is another one I love to do. Put it in the comments because we are here to encourage each other and give ourselves resources. That's really what this is. My channel is for me is uplifting um, other people that I find very inspiring because I am not a teacher, y'all. <laughs> if you watch my channel, you know that I don't claim to be a professional. I'm just a chick in the middle of the desert of Texas having fun and sharing it with all of you. So definitely put where you like to get your free sketches in the comments. I know that Jeanette would love that as well. Go over to the Girl Cave and let um, comment, join that group. She is amazing. And I would just love to see um, that grow some more for her because she is so fun. She mixes new and old and she inspires me every time, every single time. So all right, so I used, if you watched me make my spring kit in the last video for this um, part of Through the Seasons, I'm this kit I decided to use first was Simple Vintage Life in Bloom. I only had two 
papers and they were the exact same paper. So wait till y'all see what I did with this sketch. All right, so here we go. This, uh, let me start with the first one. All right, these two are gonna go together and we'll talk about that here in a minute. This was the paper that I had. I had two of these sheets and then I just kind of made a little page kit with some solids um, and other papers that I had. So I took the sketch, which is here, and they already, they basically, it's a matted and then a grid of photos and then some string, some banners and a cluster. That's really all this sketch is. I did not mat it, I didn't because I love this paper, but I did make banners out of the other piece of this paper and I let this paper do the work. This is my cluster right here. Isn't that fun? Let me take these others away. I feel like it's kind of distracting. And so I added, I had some 49 a market. I pulled some owls out of one of my swapped. I gave myself a journaling block, um, kind of to represent that mat on the sketch. And then I have a, uh, arrow paper clip, a little piece of flare. I mean, I just have fun with this. This was a lot of scraps and part of through the seasons and making these kits is using what you have in your stash. That's really what it is. Um, so definitely dig through things. And I'm gonna talk about that more coming up in other videos. So there's the first layout that I did. Um, pretty much did it like the sketch. And then as I go, I. I change it, one, my scraps or my papers are different, two, the photos are sometimes different sizes. So it's just to inspire you that, don't think when you start with a sketch you have to do all four exactly the same. And that's why I'm showing this because you don't, I don't. All right, this is the second layout I did. I used the rest of that paper. You guys are, I got the most out of those two sheets of paper. And now this time I matted it like in the sketch. Okay, I use three banners. I still use the twine and I use some bits and pieces left. I mean, I am getting everything I can. I only started with two sheets of paper, y'all. That's it. Boy, that's Southern, y'all. I've been living in Texas for three years, can you tell? <laughs> it's all coming back to me. I was born in Dallas, so in my defense, I was raised in Oklahoma. I have some slang in me. Um, this is some leftover 49 and Market. This was an embellishment from one of the swaps over on Ginger's Corner Facebook group. And is this photo not gorgeous? Now I'll put close-ups of all of the layouts at the end. I This is one of the last photos of all my babies together before my oldest graduated and left, you know, started doing adult things, you know, adult life that none of us want to do. <laughs> I'm 50 and I, well, I'm almost 50 and I don't want to do it. <laughs> well, no, by the time you see this video, I will be 50. My birthday will have come and gone. So in my these are for my scrapbook personal so these will go next to each other and i think they match well this is an example of how if i do have it going into the same scrapbook i could easily do this sketch all i really did was put the banners on one side and these on the opposite um so don't be afraid of using a sketch to make multiple layouts. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, again, one of the last photos where all my kids were at home and I can make them take a family photo. <laughs> very, very pretty. And I use lots of my swap goodies to make this happen. These owls were from a swap. Like I just, I love the swaps over in Ginger's Corner. Whole other squirrel tangent, so I'm not gonna go there. And again, I used twine, I made the bow. You are gonna see there, I believe I did a bow on every single one. So there's two, the goal is four a month, right? So I still had a little bit of that paper left. Look, <laughs> I love this photo. This again is for my scrapbook, but it's a totally different year. I mean, Jill, look how little, Jill was tiny here and she's a lot older here, like three years older. So it will go and I flipped the sketch. So the sketch kind of should go like this and the photo should be turned this way. I flipped it so those banners are going this way and I fussy cut, look at here, I fussy cut this part out and made it my embellishment for my embellishment cluster. I mean, this was in an old sticker that I've had for ages. I did the twine still and I mimicked it up here in another little banner cluster. That's all I did, that's it. Now I left myself because I can't remember exactly what year this was. I'm gonna have to look it up. And I, I will put a post-it note on the back for myself before I put the layout away. So I did a little spot for a year. I don't need to put journaling. I, I know who this is. This is for mine and my kids can figure it out later. 
I, they all have their own album, so I'm not going to stress. I did a little Dollar Tree um, butterfly. This is a piece of 49 and Market. Like I used, I literally pulled out, you guys, I pulled out my purple bin and I tried to empty it to be, that was one of my goals. Because I'm trying to use things I have, not pull out, not grab more collections, just adding to the kit that I made. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so there's that one. I love this one. I love them all though. Do you ever do that? I do. Okay, so now this is my last one. Boy, did I get down to the, I, you guys, literally, this is the only piece of those two sheets from Simple Stories that I had. The only piece I had left. And I tried to fit it on here, but I didn't like the way it looked. I almost put it right down here, but I decided not to. Um, so this is my husband and his grandma, my kid's great grandma. And this was from 2023. What are we on, 24? Yeah, nope, I'm um, 2023. I have to ask my husband. Oh my gosh, I need some of them vitamins still that make me remember things. But I'll put the year, I'll put a little thing here of how lucky my kids are to have their great grandma in their life. And she lives close to us here in Texas. She's only like three hours away. So lots of fun. She always cooks for us. And it's just such a sweet photo of her sitting in her chair, in her apron, and my husband kneeling next to her because to her, that's still her baby grand boy. I mean, she loves her grandkids. So lots and lots of fun. Um, this is a cluster, this, this, and the cage. Oh, and these. I don't know if they, I think they all were a gift for me, like for hosting one of the swaps on Ginger's Corner, but they went perfect together. And shake your tail feather, that is her attitude and fit Grandma Norma to a T. Like, I love this woman so much. So um, lots of fun. I did the twine, the bows. I just kind of did a messy cluster here, like a nest kind of thing. And I still ran, it was still inspired by that sketch. And I got four layouts out of two pieces of paper. And let's see, I had, I added this one. And then I had two of the teal, those were solids, and the purple, which you can tell I matted the photos. I did pull out this purple from my scraps. So of all those pages I added to that kit, okay? I have this strip of paper and this piece of purple. I had some tiny little pieces where, um, like, let's see, where's the bird cage? Let me find the bird cage here. I did like um, mount this and fussy cut. So I had a little bit of throw away, but I'm telling you, I used every little bit and piece of that kit that I could. And I'm happy I did so. Using things that I have, I hope you guys are inspired. Pull out sketches pull out photos and just get things done. Really is a great series. And if you don't like the way I do things, that's okay. We all have different ways. I don't take it offensively, but you can check out all my friends in the description and the click on the different links and see how they are doing it. They're using different lines, they're having different ideas, and it is so much fun and inspiring to see what everyone does. You guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I will be back next month. Um, the next video will have two layouts and then I'll do another one. So each month I'll have two videos for Through the Seasons with two layouts from here until we start the summer kits. So I will see you guys next time. Be blessed and I'll talk to you later. Bye.